finally the day to hang my TV on the wall. I bought a TV stand off of, I forget where, somewhere, it's right here. Everyone who comes over is like, do you need help with that TV? And I'm like, it'll be fine, we'll get to it. Today's the day. So my parents are on their way here. We're gonna hopefully get that thing, the TV stand set up, and then I'll be comfortable hanging because I wanted it to be centered, you know? Centered with the TV stand. So we're gonna do that. I have a couple other things I've purchased that we need to set up for the house. Kind of like a get stuff done with the house day. Well, hello and welcome back to my podcast. I mean, my cleaning video voiceover. <laughs> but for reals, it is so fun doing a voiceover because it's been a really long time and I feel like doing a cleaning video is just very reminiscent, nostalgic. I don't even know what the, not nostalgic. That's like from when you're a kid. Like I just have like so many good memories of doing <laughs> these videos. So you'll have to excuse me a little bit cause it is 8 AM on a Saturday morning and me and the kids have had like these coughs and stuff. So like if I sound a little bit deeper and manly than normal, that's why. So big shout out to my parents, especially my dad, because my dad has built everything in my entire apartment. He has helped me carry everything, like the boys' beds. We got them off Facebook Marketplace. He built my bed for me. He built the TV stand. He built my dining room table and chairs. He was here when my couch got here. I mean, what would I do without my parents? I don't even know. So big shout out to my parents. So I wanted to put color in the living room because right now there's zero color in the living room. As you can see, it's just like a gray couch with those paintings, uh -huh. plant. Uh -huh. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> Sorry, dad, <laughs> but you can know too. <laughs> Thanks for being interested though. I have those flowers, which are a pop of color, and I just feel like I need way more color. Oh, and I have my coffee ma maker that's pink. <laughs> okay, so I'll open this up so we can look together. I got these off of Amazon. Cute. I like the color already. Kind of like peach. Very fancy. It, like, comes with like an envelope. And now comes my mom's shout out because my mom has helped me stay sane and organized and on task. And she has helped me keep up with my laundry. I am not gonna lie. She is <laughs> so good about that kind of stuff. Just like always like keeping up with everything. I am a little bit spastic and I'm not the best at laundry, but she is always helping me and coming over and being like, what can I do? So shout out to both my parents. I love them to death. I don't know what I would do without them. Okay, love you guys. Okay, bye. So it's birthday weekend for us. I don't know if you guys remember, but... Hudson and Bentley are three years and three days apart. So I don't know how we timed that, but Bentley's birthday is May 3rd. Hudson's birthday is May 6th. So right now when I'm doing this voiceover, yesterday we celebrated Bentley's birthday. Today is the boys combined birthday party. It's like really small, like really, really small, super chill. And then we're doing, oh, and then we have Hudson's birthday on Monday. So they're going to be six and nine. How crazy is that? I said it on Instagram and everyone was freaking out that Hudson's going to be six because you remember you guys all saw him born in my birth vlog. Here's the TV situation. My dad built the whole thing. It looks cute. You just can't see because I have to hold this TV up. We ran out of time to mount the TV. We will do that at some point. No rush, right? There's the table, my massive couch. That was my big splurge for the house. And then I really like how those look. I wanted to pull in some color. I was like, I can't do neutral again. The last house was all neutral. I need more color. Now it's time to go get the kids from school and I'm so excited. <laughs> So 
so my parents came back another day or night just to hang the tv on the wall which was perfect because I had been watching a show with the kids and it was getting really hard to see past the coffee table oh yeah oh no he didn't build my coffee table my friend Sophie built my coffee table anyways we're getting off track I don't even know what the track was so Bentley loves to build he is our little like Lego builder he could literally focus and build an entire Lego set two days in a row he could probably do it with no sleep let's be honest but I won't let him so anyways he's been helping with building stuff around the house too which is so nice I'm doing the voiceover okay buddy so Hudson just came and joined me so he's now sitting next to me on his iPad Anyways, I was going to answer a couple questions that I had gotten over on Instagram. I figured maybe anybody wanted to know over here as well. Not very many questions, only a couple. Okay, so Claudia asked if we have summer plans. No, we don't have summer plans. My only summer plan is to work, which that's a whole thing. And then, you know, the kids obviously have school off, so they'll be in some sort of summer program or boys and girls club or something like that. I got to figure that out this weekend. And then me and Fiona are going to a concert, but that's next weekend. It's called Boots in the Park. And our favorite country artist is going to be there, Nico Moon. So that's her first concert ever. So we both are going to have like cute little cowgirl outfits. I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. Follow me over on Instagram. Otherwise, I'll try to post it in the, um, I forget what you call it, but the wall here on YouTube where you can post pictures. I'm going to try to remember and start doing that more often. Besides all those things, you'll find us at the pool, period. All we do during the summer is just go to the pool. That's pretty much the best life ever. So we're going to do that and let me know in the comments if you guys have summer plans. Okay, so this is a different day, obviously, because I have a different outfit. Now we're going to do like the cleaning portion of this video. So that beginning part was just like setting stuff up that needed to be set up. Now it's just going to be basically cleaning everything. I had gotten behind, which I will say being a single parent, it's very easy to get behind. You take a couple days off and it's like, whoa, it's crazy. Plus my washing machine is like a third of the size of the one from like, the Fillmore house so anyways it's been an adjustment and you guys know I'm, I was always behind on laundry anyways my house could be spectacularly clean but my laundry would have been a hot mess I just it's a thing for me it's like a roadblock in my mind but you know you can't stop it's like working out never give up you can never give up because there's no choice speaking of working out let's have a conversation about working out so I have been doing so much stuff. I've been so active um, within the last, I don't know, like eight months. I mean, I was active before, but on another level active. A lot more like with um, coaches or like teachers or like people who push me. And I think it's been really good for me because I think all of us struggle to push ourselves like in the gym or in, you know, at home workouts or whatever. If you have somebody telling you like, no, you can do more or like push harder or keep going, like you're just going to be a better version of yourself, of course. Anyway, so I have my personal trainer, Christian, which I dragged a few of my friends into that with me. So now we all do it together. And then I've been going to hot yoga like almost every day, not every day, maybe like five times a week. That is almost every day, Katie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if you guys have ever done hot yoga. It is so hard. So the first time I ever went to hot yoga, I only lasted 28 minutes. I literally, I remember the exact amount of minutes I lasted. The class is an hour. My friend Caitlin was teaching it and it was so hard. It's like 100 degrees and I don't do well in saunas because I get claustrophobic. Anyways, the point is I, I was like, I told myself I'm never coming back ever. I will never come back to yoga, hot yoga. And of course, like a month later, I was back because that's just how I roll. And I pushed through and I stayed a little bit longer. And like, you know, they gave me tips. Like if you get too like hot or if you can't keep going, just lay down and try to get used to the heat. So that's what I did. And then I like pushed through and now I can stay in the class for the full hour. And I'm doing the workout and I it's you're disgusting when you get out because you look like you just jumped in a pool of your sweat. But it's so good and honestly if you struggle with any kind of like anxiety or anything like that I feel like it's really good 
Um, cause it's like, it's very grounding. Like you can't think about stresses in life. You can only think about, oh, one sec. You can only think about like breathing and like, how can I stay in here another minute? Or like, it's just like, I don't know. It's like, it's almost like meditation. So like when you do meditation and you just focus on like your breathing or you just focus on like, you know, they'll tell you things like, uh, like focus on like what you're sitting on or like the feeling of like, I don't know how to explain it. (laughs) If you've done meditation, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, but the hot yoga for me is like, it's not just physically challenging because it is very physically challenging, but it's like mentally challenging. And I don't know what it is, but like, I think I've just been so into challenging myself within the last, you know, eight or nine months or whatever. And like, I enjoy it. Isn't that weird? Cause before I didn't like that. I was like, I just want to lay on the couch and chill. And now I'm like, I want to challenge myself like every day. Um, so anyways, there's my spiel on working out. Is that how I got into this? So this headboard is from Walmart. Can you believe that? Like it does not look like a Walmart product, but it is. Lauren Midgley found it and I had told her that I wanted like a rotten headboard, which she told me I'm saying rotten wrong. She said it's rattan. I'm like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted a rattan headboard and she found that one just like Googling it. And I was like, I cannot believe it's Walmart, which Walmart has some cute things. I will say their furniture sucks, but they have some really cute items. Anyways, um, what was my point? Oh yeah. That headboard. Cutest headboard ever. Right? Right. Also my dining room table is from bad bed, bath and beyond. I'll try to remember to include some links because I don't know, just for funsies. Okay. Back to the questions from Instagram. Um, Princess Forever asked me, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is peach. It's, it's been peach for so long, like so long, but I still love it. And now it's kind of morphed into like peach or I'm just into like pink and orange, which essentially if you mix it together, is going to be peach, but like, you'll see a lot of pink and orange things around my house. Uh, there is a vlog coming up. It's going to be vlogging like I'm FaceTiming. And you'll see a bunch of my like peach slash pink and orange things that I've gotten for the house. Um, I'm like, I don't have to live with a man so I can make things pink in my house if I want to, you know what I mean? So that's kind of cool. Okay. Next question. Rosie JB three says not trying to be rude. So if you don't want to share, it's fine. But why did you have to be the one to move out? And she's talking about my house. So we sold the house. So, um, you know, it's just part of like dividing our stuff up. So, um, we both moved out of the house and we both have an apartment now. So, um, yeah, that's it. It's not rude, but thank you for being sensitive. That is nice of you. Um, So I have been hearing that the real YouTube is making a comeback and I feel like that's what has made me want to kind of see if I can get back into the swing of things over here because for a while everything had to be so perfect and perfectly edited and perfectly lit and perfectly decorated and it was just it was like giving Instagram vibes like it's just not me. Like if you guys have been around a while, you just know, like I am who I am. I'm just real. It's just, I'm not perfect. I'm not making cleaning videos because I'm like fantastic at cleaning. I'm not making them cause I'm OCD perfect. Like, you know, want everything perfectly clean all the time. I'm making cleaning videos because I need to clean my house and it's dirty. And I just, it actually keeps me accountable. The point is like, I'm just a real human. Bless you. Like just not perfect is what I'm trying to say. And so I think the whole perfection trend on Instagram and YouTube kind of killed it for me. And I think that's kind of why I got into TikTok for a while. Cause I'm like, where is a platform that you can just be yourself and not have to look like you have your whole life together? Because let's be honest, no one has our whole life together. Like everyone who's posting these like perfectly curated photos, like behind that picture is 
probably a meltdown from a child or an argument or, you know, a pimple. I don't know. Like the point is, it's just life is not perfect. And I don't like to pretend like my life is perfect. I have good days and I have bad days, just like the rest of us. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see. I'm going to be doing vlogging like I'm FaceTiming because that sounds fun.